What's going on, YouTube? I'm D. Ellis. Welcome back to another episode of Crime Circuit. For this video, we're going to be covering Jennifer Servo. Um, she was born in 1979 and would lose her life at the age of 22 on September 16th of 2002. Um, condolences to the family, of course, first and foremost. Um, make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. Do me a favor. Try to put this channel into the YouTube algorithm. Um, stick with me, guys. I'm going to get a camera soon. I promise. Just stick with me. Um, consistency would never be a problem. Um, but with all that being said, guys, once again, I'm DLS. This is Crime Circuit. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, subscribe. Let's get into the intro. Jennifer Lynn Servo. Jennifer Lynn Servo, born September 23rd, 1979, was an American news reporter whose murder remains unsolved still to this day. And Servo worked as a news reporter at KPAX TV in Masula during her freshman year in college at the University of Montana and later at the KECI TV, which serves most of Western Montana. If you guys are from that area, comment down below and let me know. Um, all right, let's continue. Servo graduated from Columbia Falls High School in 1998. A scholarship was established in Servo's name after the school after her death. Servo stated that she had the ambition to be the next Katie Couric and to work for a large news network. Servo graduated from the, from the University of Montana in May of 2002. Servo was offered her first full-time news reporter job from KRBC-TV in Al Alabin, Texas. Sorry, guys. Um, just months after she began working for KRBC, she would tragically be found murdered by strangulation and head trauma in her Abilene apartment. Servo's boyfriend at the time Ralph Sepulavita became a prime suspect. Brian Travers, Servo's co-worker at KRBC, also became a suspect. But unfortunately, the case remains unsolved and no arrest has ever been made. Servo's murder has been covered by numerous media outlets since 2002. Among the more notable are America's Most Wanted, and CBS 48 Hours Mystery under the name of Deadline for Justice. Servo's story was also in the September 2003 issue of Cosmopolitan Magazine. All right, you guys, that's going to conclude this episode of Crime Circuit. Um, first and foremost, rest in peace to Jennifer Servo. Condolences to the family. Um, if you guys know anything of this, do the right thing, you know, but with this case being, what, 21 years old almost, it's just, it's crazy. I mean, she had a lot going for her. It sounds like to me, it could possibly be somebody that. Um, probably knew that she has good stuff going on and was envious of that. But, hey, I'm D. Ellis. Rest in peace. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, rest in peace to Jennifer Servo, of course. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.